in May 1913, a bomb explosion ripped through Scotland's Royal Observatory in Edinburgh. A large earthenware jar packed with gunpowder had been placed in the middle story of the Western Telescope Dome next to an iron staircase. It was connected to a 30-foot fuse that had been run down the staircase to the room below, which housed the telescope chronograph, a clockwork device for timing observations. The damage caused by the explosion was extensive. Windows and doors had been blown out, plaster ceilings were shattered, some of the staircase was blown off, splinters of glass were recovered 100 feet from the building. The heavy floor of the telescope room directly above the bomb had been knocked off the corbels that supported it and had been badly damaged. The driving clock, which kept the telescope fixed on a star while the earth rotated, was nearly destroyed. There was little doubt which group had carried out the bombing that night, although the individuals involved were never identified or caught. Two notes were left at the scene. The first read, From the beginning of the world, every stage of human progress has been from scaffold to scaffold and from stake to stake. The other said, How beggarly appears argument before defiant deed votes for women. This bombing was the work of suffragettes, and once again this was an act of resistance against global structures of power carried out by those excluded from the benefits of those structures. <laughs>